everyone, I'm coming at you with a quick studio update for today. Um, I figured it was better to make a quick video of me blabbering than it is to make a long post that you're gonna have to read. So here's where I'm at. These are the pieces I'm currently working on. We've got a Fritz model resin right here, which has a new mane and tail. Still needs some more on the tail and a couple of mane tweaks and more forelock over here and some more prepping. We've got hands down resin custom here. We've got a braided mane and new face features. Uh, braided tail and a little cob here. New mane, new tail, more feathers, fun stuff. Um, oh, and also the little Alboroso um, unicorn stable mate, uh, customizing him into this. I don't know what yet. I'm just kind of going with the flow, but he's coming out really cool and I'm really excited about this one. So um, they are all sales pieces. However, they're not going to be able to ship until uh, February. And I'll tell you why. It's because I am going to two shows. I signed up for Pumpkins and Ponies in October and Super Cali Fragilistic Live in January. I need these ponies for my show string before I can let them go. Now, I've been to two shows before. A uh, small show on Long Island, a uh, Long Island model horse extravaganza uh, hosted by Laura Rocksmith. I've never been to a show off of the island yet. Many of you who are from this area know how terrible the roads are into and out of Long Island. Jersey Turnpike, Belt Parkway, bridges, just... So it's usually a very big hassle and a very big expense to get off of Long Island. My car is not the most reliable. It's very old and I do not trust it for long distance uh, things like that. So, um, you know, there's a lot of adjustments I need to make when I need to get off of the island. But I was able... Um, to find a really inexpensive flight uh, from JetBlue. However, I have to fly out of JFK, which eh, I suppose is better than LaGuardia, but I usually really like to fly out of Islip with Southwest, um, and I think they have Delta too, but um, because it's such a nice airport, it's small, it's quiet, it's just nice. Southwest doesn't really go many places, and when they do, it's usually really expensive because there's like a million stops from here to like here. <laughs> like for, for me to take Southwest to Syracuse, there was two stops. So it was Long Island, New York to Syracuse, New York. There was two stops. It's just, no. The hotel where the uh, show is hosted at offers shuttles to and from the airport, um, a group rate discount for the hotel. So all I need to do is fly in, get the shuttle, stay at the same hotel the show's in, and then get a shuttle and fly back. The expense really worked out for that one, so I was really shocked and I was really, really happy to be able to make that happen. SCF Live in California, that's another story because ever since she announced that one, I was trying to find a way to make this work because I really wanted to go. It's probably going to be way over my head and I'm probably going to be so overwhelmed, but I don't care. I want to play. So the way I was able to make this one happen was we were supposed to be visiting family in the winter in Arizona. Thanks, motorcycle guy. Which, I, when I looked up, was only about an eight hour drive from Arizona to where we need to be in California. Um, so I was trying to like move things around and see if it would work. And then when I spoke to my dad, he's like, yeah, let's do this. Hi, Buck. Hello, Buck. Yeah, so he wants to see California and he's taking his RV. He's going to be driving me and that to California, which I'm not gonna need a hotel. I'm not gonna need a car. The only expense I'm gonna need for that is the uh, show, the show costs, food costs and the flight home. So I was just so happy that my dad was able to help me make this work in you know, because the expense just for one day from New York to California, the flights, the hotels, everything, it's really expensive. So I could not justify a three day thing for that, but I was able to move things around and we're making this work. So that said, that's why these things can't ship until after that, because I need stuff to show. I have a couple of bar leftovers in my contest pieces, so I don't have much. It's just not enough. So. I'm gonna work on these. Um, that leads me to uh, commissions. Um, commissions, I it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to open my books in November. I don't know for sure. I might be able to squeeze a slot in here and there, but I don't see it happening because of the show prep. Um, now, if I've already spoken to you about commissions, you already have any here, 
Um, nothing has changed on those. I still honor everything that we've already spoken about. So don't worry about that. This is just new incoming things because I know a lot of people are waiting for my books to open. I'm thinking they're probably going to open closer to March um, or end of February, something like that. Um, or, you know, just keep an eye on the newsletter. Newsletter people get first dibs on slots and usually sales pieces as well. So um, you can sign up for that on my website. I'll put all the links, the descriptions, the shows and everything in um, the description. Another thing that got thrown into the mix right now is I do have another animation contract going on. Um, I haven't done this in a long time, but it's something I really needed. So um, that is going to be in the intermix of me working on these pieces as well. So it adds to the busy factor. Um, but you know, this contract isn't a very time, um, time constraint, constrictive, constrictive one. I guess that's the word. Um, so that's good. So I can work on that pretty much at my leisure, but it's still going to take a lot of time out of my models. So, um, until that's over, that's what's playing a big part in, in all of it. And after all that, Briarfest plans for next year. I do plan to go. Uh, but I don't plan to have a booth anywhere again, um, unless I do have a lot of these pieces um, from the shows that I still need to sell or something. But even then, I think I'm going to try and maybe rent some space out of someone's room in the Clarion. Um, I kind of really want to go to just enjoy myself uh, next year. It'll be my fifth year. I'm thinking of doing the 5K, you know, five. That'd be cool. Um, just, just to enjoy myself, because I never really get to do that. You know, I'm usually stuck at the booth or stuck at helping at booths, and, you know, it, I feel... I always feel guilty when I step away from the booth. You know, it's never been so like, yay, I get to go enjoy myself. It's always like, oh my god, I gotta get here because I gotta get back. It's usually like I'm so frazzled with everything in the booth that I don't get to talk to people, I don't get to hang out with people. Um, and it's sad. So I really want to chill with people next year and just have a good time. So that's where the studio's at right now and um, just wanted to give you guys a little update so you know what to expect in the coming months. If you guys are going to any of these shows also let me know i'd love to say hi and chat when we're there and stuff so thanks for watching be sure to like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i will see you next time bye